Let's ask a couple baseball questions in here. I remember when it seemed like Scott Boris had, you know, magic fingers, and every time he picked up the phone to call, all the GMs would freak out. And last year, it didn't seem like his he was as successful as he was before. So what do you think that means for the Yankees and Juan Soto? Will he sign before he gets to free agency, or will it go the distance? Well, you know, last year, what Scott did, he tried to get great money for good players. And he's great with the great player. Uh, but, you know, Bellinger, Chapman, Snell, these guys are not great players. Uh, Jordan Montgomery, they're, not, they're good, but they're not great. And he wanted big money, and he wasn't going to get it for guys who are just not great. Now, Soto's great. He's an all-timer. He'll get a fortune for him. But if I was Soto, and he's already, you know, thrown out the olive branch to Hal Steinbrenner and everything else that, you know, the Yankees in right field, he loves it here, what have you. So maybe they get something together. Where is he going to go? The Dodgers aren't going to sign him. Um, you know, uh, where is he going to go where he's in a situation where he can win every year for with a passionate fan base making $500 million? He can go to the Cubs, but they, they're not going to win every year. The Red Sox don't win every year. Cohen's owned the Mets for five years. They've won one playoff game. Where could he go where he knows on a year-to-year -year basis he's got a chance to be in a World Series? There's only one team. That's it. The Yankees, too. The Yankees and Dodgers. The Orioles aren't going to sign him. The, the Braves are not going to go in this direction, and the Phillies don't need him. So there's only, there's only one other team. It's L.A., and I don't think they're going to sign him. He can go, you know, Show his wares to the Cubs, the Giants, Seattle, a team that has a lot of money that needs a big star, fine. But you don't guarantee that you can win it every year. With the Yankees, every year they're in the playoffs. Every year, you know, last year notwithstanding. But for the most part, 99% of the time, every year and they're in the postseason. So if you're Soto, you'll be silly to close the door on New York. That's where you should be. They can pay a $450 million, the ballpark suits you, passionate fan base, big cities don't bother them. They get 45000 a game, and they got a chance to win a championship every single season. It makes perfect sense. I think that at the end of the day, that is where he will be. I think the question is, since he doesn't normally do this, could they have a deal done via before free agency? That's the question. Will they? Will Boris go to free agency just because that's what he usually does to establish a quote-unquote market? Or will Boris realize, you know what, it's the Yankees. They're offering us this. They got Judge, Cole. We got a big-time team. They're going to give us plenty. Maybe we can get an extra couple of dollars somewhere else, but we're going to get plenty. He's happy here. The fans like him. If they're smart, that's what they'll do. So we shall see. See, that's it. I mean, there's really no place else to go. They've created some kind of crazy super team out here in L.A. And I mean, I would think that they, if they don't win this year, like what was the whole point of bringing this together? Yeah, well, Otani hasn't pitched, and that's the Dodger excuse. They're going to say, well, we didn't have Otani in the mound. And again, right now, uh, Susie, there are five teams. It's like the Premier League in soccer. There are five teams that can win it at the moment. I mean, I know baseball is unpredictable, so you never know. Look at Arizona. But Phillies, Yankees, Orioles, Dodgers, Atlanta. Those are your five teams. Everybody else is, you know, eh, is okay. Guardians, Cubs, Brewers. I mean, Arizona, the Giants. Even Seattle, Texas, and, and, uh, and the Astros. The five teams right there are the best teams. I would think one of those five will win a championship. And if you're Soto... You can go to the Cubs. They have plenty of money. They need a big star. Wrigley Field, great place to play. The Red Sox would always be in play. You can think about that, too. The Mets, Cohen's got more money than anybody, and they're a bad team. I would not be surprised. But why would you do that when you know the Yankees are going to pay you this yep. and you got a chance every year? So you'd stay with the Yankees. The Dodgers situation, you know, they're going to have some pressure on them in the postseason. Uh, because they haven't won since 88. Let's throw the pandemic aside for a second. They haven't won since 88. Uh, they have an incredibly large payroll. The last two years, they got ambushed in a divisional round. It's a, you know, now they don't have Otani pitching, and that's the excuse they give you if they lose. Uh, but they'll be pressure on the Dodgers in October, and they have not handled that well the last couple of years. 
Let's see how they handle it this year. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free. 